why two people cannot communicate and what lack of communication does to your relationship. Any normal healthy relationship is a partnership that is aimed and geared towards common success, common happiness and achievement of common goals. In my last vlog, um, I talked about communication, how communication is at the very core and fundamental to every relationship. Now let's talk about John and Sue. John and Sue come together but they can't communicate. But why does that happen? Especially when John and Sue independently or in different circumstances with other people are perfectly good at communicating. They have normal conversations, they discuss things, but when together they just cannot communicate. I mean, John would be talking to his friends. Uh, he'd be all right. He communicates all right at work. Sue is great at talking to her mother. Uh, when she goes to work, she has friends. And she has colleagues. She has perfectly, perfectly good conversations. But when they are put together as a couple, communication just completely breaks down. And one of them thinks that he or she is lesser than the other. So let's take John who is either financially, mentally, physically, or in any other way, he feels that he is lesser than Sue. That's step one. So he, instead of communicating, could kick into a defensive posture. And the defensive posture basically makes him lock up even more. How that manifests, I will talk in a bit. I'm going to further complicate the situation. So John already felt that he was lesser than Sue. But Sue also makes the mistake of reminding him of that disparity. She snubs him, she, when, when, when he talks, uh, she sort of pretends by her, or maybe her body language or her words, her facial expressions, they convey to him that, you know, she thinks he's an idiot. And, and she's constantly reminding him of that disparity. So what does he do? First, he locks up, he closes down, he, he shuts himself behind the veil of silence. Sue gets even more aggressive and pushes him even further saying, you can't talk, you don't talk, I am better than you, you know, and one thing and the other, but he keeps coming under pressure. And then he resorts to what I call relationship killers. He resorts to stonewalling Sue. He resorts to passive aggression. He resorts to bouts of depression. He resorts to aggression. He resorts to abuse, to anger, to fights, to screaming matches. He resorts to abusing her. He resorts to maybe physically hurting her. He resorts to shutting down. He resorts to locking himself in the room for hours or days. He would just not communicate with her. He could do I mean, he could become the victim. He would be falling sick all the time. He would be depressed. He would be trying to gain sympathy. Because all he wants really is Sue to understand and maybe help him get up. But Sue just goes on putting him down over and over again. So he has no choice but to somehow emotionally blackmail her and get the edge or to physically or verbally or emotionally abuse her and get the edge. Because otherwise he doesn't think he can be at par with her or he fe or feels he can't rise to her or where she is. So what he does is he starts cutting her down to size. He starts cutting her down to his own size and he uses any of those techniques and tactics I talked about. Now what does that trigger? That triggers a further breakdown in communication. That, that leads to more aggression. Now, if Sue is the kind of girl who I think she is, which means she's aggressive, and you know she makes it a point to tell him that she's better, she gets even more aggressive because now he's actually reinforcing what she's blaming him of. He is further becoming more quiet he's he's retaliating he out of just spite he's not 
doing things right. Now let's reverse the situation where uh, Sue thinks she is lesser than John, either physically, uh, in her education, financially, the amount of money she's making, her job, her career, her education, her, her just anything, in any way she feels inferior to John. And John makes the cardinal mistake of telling her that or just reminding her of that or or even just not reassuring her. He makes the mis mistake of not letting her feel that it's all right or there is no difference and it's just in her mind. He makes any of those mistakes and now there's a lockdown. Women, the reason I'm, I'm doing the reverse of the situation as well is women, when they feel weaker, they become emotionally blackmailing. They become very vulnerable emotionally. And their, and their tactic, because they can't always scream and shout or be physically abusive. So what, what happens with them is they start using mental and emotional tactics to overpower the man and they would they would play the victim card they would play the misery card that how miserable she is or how ill she is and and you know she would just become the victim everything is going against her and she would use uh, for example he has a job and she doesn't uh, so she would use her lack of job uh, as as the victim as the victim card instead of getting up and finding a job or, or doing something else to keep herself busy or just finding some new career. She would go into the state of depression and become the victim. Oh, there's nothing for me to do. I have nothing to do. I'm feeling horrible. And anything, anything that comes into their life, either one of them will keep finding a problem with it because if they, if they, if they admit that there are no problems in their life, they would have to, they would have to live happily together but since one of them is feeling inferior the inferiority complex he or she uses passive aggression stonewalling silence emotional blackmail physical verbal mental emotional abuse or any of these negative tactics and techniques to gain the edge now I want to show you you are not getting the edge you are destroying your own life you're destroying your own relationship you are just killing it strangling your relationship and and then complaining that your relationship is dying is there an escape from the situation yes there is easy solution there are a few simple steps you can take to break from this negative and destructive cycle it is very easy to communicate and save your relationship but both John and Sue need to work hard at it what do they need to do? I'll tell you that in my next video. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, it's, it's at Faisal Qureshi, my name. And when you do subscribe, click on the notification button, the bell. So whenever I release a video, you get the notifications first. So see you next time.